Heads, 2-1 win. What was your take on the game? That weren't pretty, was it? Um, but look, I mean, Newark came here. They started fast. Um, and they were probably on top. But we've scored two two really good goals. And then, we, like I said, we give away a penalty right before half-time, which could cost you on a, on a day like today, really. But like I said, the pitch is heavy in places and hard to play on. But I thought second half, defensively, as a unit, my team were excellent. Um, like I said, we didn't create too much going forward. Um, but I thought we were excellent without the ball, second half. And, and that, that's a credit to them because that, that's, like I said, that's rolled on from last week's defensive play. I know we lost last week, but I thought they were excellent again as a unit last week. And, and it shows that they're going in good stead. So I'm, I'm like I said, I'm happy. I'm delighted for the win. Um, but I'm, I'm really happy with defensively. The performance was, I mean, attacking wise, we can we can work on that. But defensively, I'm over the moon with it. What did you say to him at half time? Because first half, I thought for the first try, until you scored the first goal, you were your own worst enemies at times again. Yeah, like I say, it's, it's, you always get that factor when you go away from home and you can. Adapt when you're at home, you've got their own fans on your back. We know we're in a bit of a, a, a rut, and that is tough. But you, you've got to ride waves, and I think they did do that. I mean, my keepers made what three, four really good saves first half. The keepers in it, um, and and I thought he was excellent by the way today, Dan George. Um, but it went in. I can I can accept them starting slowly, and we've we've rid a wave out. What I was disappointed with is that. They get a long ball diagonally, which goes over my left back's head. They then have a shot at goal. They get the corner. They then do a short corner, and they've got three men standing out there, and we're like three on one. They then invite another cross into the box, and, and it's just soft, and our clearances weren't good enough. And then we give a soft penalty away right before half-time, literally, and that was all leading up to that one mistake. And them little things mean a lot. And I, I know you can always revert to when you were as a player or whatever, but... And it's they know there's five minutes or two minutes or whatever left till half time, so they have to be a bit more aggressive in saying, get tighter, get out there, go head it. And they were probably a little bit naive at that point, but they are young, um, they are working hard, and yeah, it is frustrating sometimes, but they are learning from their mistakes, and well, I think they are, and. It's just that was a positive second half performance, really, with like defensively off the ball. We did try, but little things didn't work out. And like you say, I think the heavy pitch and tired legs sort of showed, really. But the discipline, second half, you, you, your discipline and game management, the whole the whole performance was so much better, wasn't it? Yeah, that that looked like that looked like a team full of men grinding out a win, like away from home, to be honest. Um, but. I take it. We we want wins. We want points. Don't matter how they come at this time of the season. Um, and yeah, I'm delighted that just that looked like like I say, my back four. You've got I mean Alfie's thirty, other I think, but you got Max who's thirty, but you got Harry Twight, centre half obviously from in. He's only eighteen and he's been excellent. And Joe Reed, like I say, playing step eight last year, whatever it was, coming in and don't look out of place and. Um, that's where we're trying to go, and it's it was good to see that they're stepping up, they're building a bit of a bond. Like I say, Alfie's came in at left back, and that has shored up the defence a little bit at that stead. Um, so we're making positive steps, which is it's good, good to see, really. There were some colossal performances second half. Two two people who stood out for me: Harry Twight, Dan George, commanded his area so well. Yeah, and and that's I think for Dan it's a confidence thing. Um, came in, like I say, I've not had, I personally had a chance to really work with him too often. We do a session when we can. Um, but I think it's just confidence in getting the best out of him. And I think that'll do him a world of good because he, he, like I say, he come for every cross, made it his own, demanded his box better. And that'll lead him in good stead going forward. And I'll hopefully he can kick on now and be the goalkeeper. I know he can be. Um, um, like I say, he's coming out of his shell a bit in the team and that, that's his best performance in a Wisby shirt for me today. Can't finish without talking about Toby Allen's goal. Not a bad hit, was it? No, uh, he can do that. Um, he's got all the ability. Um, like I say, he's one of the most frustrating players to watch because he can do everything. 
Um, I just wish he'd probably want it a bit more. You never know. Um, but he, he's been class. Like I say, he went down to play in the Cam's Kershaw Leagues last year. And we've got him a bit fitter. And like I say, like I, say I think he scored 20 odd goals in all competitions this year now. And for a lad who's come from that level, shows uh, the progression he's making. And um, there aren't many who can score goals like he can. And like I say, he can do everything. And I think last, to be fair, the last four or five weeks for us, he's been excellent up front on his own, holding the play, bringing people into play. And he's a good lad. And like I say, another lad who's quite young and mature and as a player. and. Hopefully we can sort of build good people around him to make us more effective higher up the pitch. Um, but that will come and like I say, he's been excellent for us. Got to have good vision to do what he's done, haven't you? Uh, like I say, he can, he can do it. I've seen him do it. I mean, I've seen him do it on Sundays, just effortlessly. Um, he, he can do the lot. Um, like I say, he's just, it's a manager's nightmare at times. But he, yeah, he's got all the potential to go on and, and keep going on and, I'm desperate for him to keep pushing and, and, and scoring goals and, and, and see how well he can get, really, because I think he can do everything. Um, and he, he's good potential. Obviously, you've got a few days off now. Back at it next week. How how important is it next week that you now pick up another result, build on what you've achieved today again? Yeah, like I'll, I'll set a good standard. Well, I'll try to set a good standard for this team. And um, what is, it, is it Eastwood at home, is it? Or away? Yeah. Away, so we went to um, we went to, who did we play there not long ago Belper. Yeah, we went to Belper, so we know what their pitch is like. Um, we know it's the Astro turf, and that'll do us okay. I think we've just like I said, we know Eastwood are a good side. They'll try and play on that pitch, so we've got to adapt and be patient, and again have good man management and and play because when we do play at times, we are frightening, but. Um, that's just working as and when to do it instead of they do a lot of dirty work sometimes and then they forget about oh actually I can get on and play and but that will come like I say you got Ethan and Ollie was playing step six at Swaffham last year you got Ethan who's 18 coming from the under 23s over at Lynn and obviously you got the experience of John Chandler who was again I thought it was excellent up to when we got them goals really and he was leading the line higher up the pitch doing the right thing and, and he like I say for a uh, 43 year old he's a true professional really and he's a model to my young lads that I have and like I say he's played at the top end of his career for a long periods of time because he looks after himself and he, and he conducts himself in the right manner and hopefully my lads can learn from that and we can kick on and and hopefully match some sort of ability that he has really. He, I mean just word on Ethan as well because you look at the lad you know there's nothing on him is there? But he doesn't, when he's on the pitch, he doesn't shirk a challenge, does he? No, we, a question mark, Dim, at, I'm going to say, Kim, no, was it Kimberly Miners? Got a whack in the back, I think. And he went down, I thought, is it a bit soft? Is he hurt? I don't know. Struggled off. And since then, like, there's times where I think he can kick on. Like, he's... He can do it all in there, really. Um, and we've just got to get the best out of him. And sometimes he needs a bit of a rocket at the backside to, to do that. Um, but he, he's he's very good. Like I say, he, he's strong when he wants to be. Gets stuck in. Don't mind it. And I, I love it. I think him and Ollie are building a good partnership, especially off we lost Aaron Hart. And, and they're making it their own in there. So it's just connecting the dots a little bit better now. And I think we'll start to see a bit more progression, hopefully, in this football side. So you think that challenge was probably the making of him? You, you've seen him grow since yeah, that game. Yeah, he. I've seen him like, like well, it's Belper at home. He 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 played like a thirty-year-old, like his experience, wasting time, getting down, winning fouls, and he can do it. He's got a good brain on him. It's just again, we've got to get that bit of consistency out of him because his work rate is tremendous. Um, we've just got to get that ball playing Ethan as well as his work rate, and then we'll. He'll be he'll be some player going forward.